and MLB the show series. Hope you guys do enjoy and um yeah. Let's run through the basics of conquest mode. If you want to attack, press X on any territory with more than one fan. Once this territory is selected, a group of yellow territories are displayed nearby that can be attacked. Navigate there and press X. If the territory you attack is empty, you take the territory with no resistance. Now if the area you attack is occupied, you have the option to simulate or play a game against a computer controlled team that occupies this space. If you choose to simulate, then your chances of winning the game rest heavily on the number of fans you have attacking versus the number of fans that are defending the territory. The best strategy is to always outnumber your opponent. If you choose to play the game, the difficulty also scales up or down depending on the amount of fans that are attacking and defending. If at any time you wish to end the attack phase, press the options button and skip the phase. Let's go, boys. So you guys heard what we had to do? Uh, see, I think... I want to go after the... Orioles. Yeah. Uh, my fans, that is six million. Oh, I said it has to be a yellow square. I'm stupid. So it looks like we're going to be making our way down. Oh, or we can go up. And like that. I want to go against them. Okay. We'll go veteran. Conquest mode. Let's go. So this is a fresh team I made, or the Tropics, don't know why, okay. Time of year June. I want to see what that is. Okay. My starting pitcher. Um, yeah. Let's go. So this is game number one of the Diamond Dynasty series and all of MLB. But it's just for the Diamond Dynasty series. Uh, I'll be moving on to different ones soon. So this is what we got right now. We're playing the Rockies. Colorado Rockies. That was almost my name too. I almost made it the Rocks. Now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains, MLB The Show is on the air. Today it'll be Conquest Baseball between the Tropics and the Rockies. A valuable territory and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next. Digging in, Eduardo Nunez. He will lead this one off today. Pennsylvania. Third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. Eduardo Nunez. I'm looking forward the tropic season and if you guys like and subscribe I might be doing more of these at the side just got a piece of it as it's foul as soon as I swing I was like oh that's inside crap yeah PT Central Pennsylvania Tropic now here's the pitch but yeah bounced softly in front of the plate Ron Nunez and a rather easy first out and with that here's a look at the visitors starting lineup what do they need to do to get a win on the road here today Harold I think the key to this game, Matt, is working the count. I mean, you've got a guy that's really dominant on the mound, right? So you got to work his pitch count. And if you work the pitch count, now all of a sudden you might get into that bullpen. If they get in the bullpen, they're going to win this game. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. As he'll oh, get we got a Rocky up right now. This one. that will the count. I didn't do that in the last one. First that, delivery you know, to count. him on the way. Get in the bullpen, you know. Line to the right side. But Dang foul. it. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees, the reading at first pitch. 
One out, nobody yeah, was, on. Ah, man, that should have been a homer. I got a little early on that one. Another one fouled off, and he's That's quickly sad. behind 0-2. 0-2? Right yeah. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he well, missed with I'm it. 1-2. Time for man. a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Well, Kingsley's a consistent and fair umpire, Matt. Sometimes he might give a little on the corners, but it doesn't ever seem to impact the game too much. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. I like how he's working backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. Here's Mark Trumbo now. Mark Trumbo. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. So, guys, if you guys like this, we're going to play a few games a day in this series. So, yeah. Oh, how was that late on that? That's sad. I had a whole run. There's only 76 miles an hour, too. Oh, a little bit outside. Two and one. We're just underway here in Denver. Just underway here in Denver, Colorado. The state battle, Turned you know. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little far. Colorado foul. versus Pennsylvania state battle. Um, by the way, I'm going to the Little League World Series. I'll be able to get some clips there and make a video out of it. And another foul <laughs> ball. Hey, I'd rather be late and have it foul off and you know, work his count. And be able to Even at two him. balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And Single. opposite field as he lines this down oh, the line double. And right. Never and mind, can't go anywhere. Be two bases. No. I, and they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued will on or not? He thought about yeah, I forgot to push the... Sure, but like, decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. I mean, he probably should have taken a little bit of... Settling in now, Will Myers. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Two away. First pitch the of the at bat started to go around there, but he holds up. Ball I, know, one. I, I completely f I went full in on that too. Uh. One zero count. Here it is. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Balls in pursuit. Yes. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Yeah, boy. Okay. No. We got Vance Worley. Worley. The California-born right-hander is on the mound. He HR, what's pirate. the word on him? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I mean, they're all good. He throws them for strikes. He dominates. He mixes speeds up. I asked him one day, what's your best pitch? And he told me, all five. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder, David Dahl. It'll lead things off here rookie. in the bottom half of the first. Right fielder, David Dahl. And this one's uh, nowhere close as I, it I bounces to the plate play for ball one. one. Now the pitch. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and oh now. That's just uh, not a competitive pitch. I mean, that ball wasn't even close. Now the hitter's sitting 2-0. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. There we go. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Trumbull racing back. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Talk about starting off the inning with the bang. Goodness. Yeah, I'm going to lose some fans here, too. I can tell my children. And I think he might have, too. Only made it to the warning track, but he glides into second base with a leadoff double.
nothing I could have done about that. That was a high pitch and everything. And Here's he the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Wow, fastball up and in. I'm not sure it was intended to be that far up and that far in, but message sent. Beware. 1-0 oh pitch on the way. This is fought off foul over to the right okay, side. Okay, I'm not it's saying that. Strike. It whacked somebody in the head. I saw it. It went right through their head. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Thank you. Fouled two. off again, two. and now he's in a one and two hole. Somebody caught it in their beer. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung oh, out. Oh, strike three. Out. Let's go. One out. At the plate, Charlie Blackman. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gun now. Swing right and down. that's hit out of play up into the plaza oh, level. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Oh, he got a good pitch there bad, right man. there. Now, I know it was a slider. Not a lot of people like to hit sliders, but it was in a good hitting location. He just looked like he was pulled a little bit and got caught looking. I like how he wasted that pitch. It was close enough to tempt the hitter to swing, but now you got him thinking, will he come back with another fastball? You got him set up. Off speed, hard pitch, anything now. Pulled toward right center field. Giving chase is Tapia, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. The runner scores from second. Blackman takes the turn at third. He wants it all. And happy birthday as they allow him to cross with the inside the park home run as he catches his breath to reflect on his good fortune. Boy, the home fans are loving that inside the parker. Looked like he was carrying a piano around his back when he rounded third, but he made it. Somebody get him an oxygen mask. Here's Nolan Arenado. Well, that's one way to start off the game. Into the windup and the pitch. So, and a fastball that. just a bit high. I don't like the pitching in this. Not at all. You know. Here comes the 1-0. Uh -oh. And a fastball in the that dirt that's taken for a ball. Well, I this is my first game back on it. As aggressive mm -hmm. as he was it's before okay. that home run. Hey, yeah. This is a guy that can burn you again. So I don't really blame him. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh, From the windup, the outside. three O pitch takes a Ooh. look down at the knees for a strike. Oh, I'm pitching slider inside. I don't care what they say. And a whiff at a good slider that time. He swung so hard. I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet on. I'm surprised he didn't fall down. He swung so hard. What a big swing. Into the windup, ready with count. the payoff pitch. On a Let's big go. Two strikeouts. Yeah, Vance Willie was so good. It's I wish he never, I wish he never left. He was so good. Serving up a two-run shot, but that was, was so a good, good indication man. for me that I'm he is letting it get him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Ferrari Opara is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Two out, nobody on. So we're out of the difficult. Batters and we're at the fifth batter now. Just Still pretty good. Straighten that one out. But it's not going to be anything like the first. And that slider's yeah. almost in the dirt. Okay. Into the windup. Here's one the two and pitch. one pitch. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Get him out at first, please. In a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no five, one left to board. Five, six, seven coming up. I think they are. Second inning upcoming here in Denver. Colorado's six, seven, out in front, two to nothing. Leading off for the traffic. Oh. In now the seven, power eight, hitting yeah. outfielder, Omar Mazzara. Mazzara. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. 
a little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Para will get there with yeah, ease. He far 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 away for out number one. Now for a look at the majestic Russia. defensive alignment for the Rockies. And Come yes, on. they are moving all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics, and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Para is after it. I thought it was gone. But it's over his head, and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Oh, imagine that was gone, though. Oh, please hit a home run to tie the game. First offering on its way. That's a fastball that just misses inside. Yeah, I was swung at that, but then I thought. One out and a runner on second base. Line toward right center. And Second that score. finds the outfield grass Bad. for base And a relay to the plate. And he's out at third. Might have gotten a little greedy that time. I don't even know what just happened, honestly. At the plate, Cameron Rupp. Trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. I sent him to second and he went all the way to third. First delivery to him on the way. This is hit down the right field line, oh. but it's going to get out of play right, for strike mean. one. Ready with the 0 1. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two. I went around, man. A man on third with two down. Tapper up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Here's another 0-2. You have so many Rocky stands here. And that's around. through into center field. Base hit. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2-1 now. Well, he got jammed. Not it's not going to look pretty when you That's talk right. to him about it. But, man, in box scores, he picks up the RBI and keeps his team pushing forward. Vance Worley. I so don't want to bring in Vince Vance Worley trying Second. to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Curveball just that. misses apparently. One and oh. Well, now they got the tying run at first base. Now it's going to take a ball in the gap to really score this guy from first base. And I'm really curious how they're going to defend that on a relay throw and maybe if we have a play or not. But you got to hit one in the gap to get there first. Right over oh, the middle. Oh, I thought it was a ball. It looked like he was down a little bit lower than it was. Effect. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. There we go. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, Ooh, these are just low, extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. This guy's swing. got a good mid-90s fastball so working that. in this game. If they think they can catch up to that ball up there, it's going to continue to be a rough game for them. A swing and a miss oh. on the ball way outside the strike zone. Really and the missed. inning is over. Man. If we so had him, one run. Home. On three like hits, three no players. errors, and a runner left on. Up for the Here's Mark Reynolds. He'll There's get us Bankman. going here in the bottom half Mark. of the second. Reynolds. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Well, here we are with the leadoff hit in the second. And the pitcher really struggled in the first inning. So you got to be a little bit concerned. The stuff just doesn't look like it's there today. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a knee high fastball. 0 1, here's the pitch. I'm doing better with the pitch. Two, you know? two tough pitches. Looking at both of them, they're both the same pitch, it looks like, in the same location. He just wasn't ready for it. You got to be ready for anything now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Thank okay, you. Double play. And the Brought inning. To We're just too shabby. And I'm looking at Will Myers playing first base. Yes, first base. Now, I know he came up as an outfielder, but, man, has he become a pretty good defender at first base. I love his actions. I love how he moves, and he's pretty graceful over there. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. First pitch on its way. Oh, Hold off right. on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Runners on first with one down. And there he goes towards second. Hit to third. Pro gets him two down. Ninth. Carlos Gonzalez will look to provide a little two-out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Nope. Now it's 2-0. Hey, this is exactly what you do with the scrappy nine hitter. He's almost like another leadoff guy. He's battled himself right back into this at bat now with two outs. He's got a chance to get up to go ahead and drive in a couple runs. In there, two and one. That was a good 2 0 slider right there. Now you're still sitting 2 1. I continue to look for that fastball, but that was a nice slider right there. Oh, right down Main Street with that one, two and two. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. Hit hard on the ground to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. We've played two full. Rockies lead it two to one. Gotta love the natural beauty of Denver's surrounding areas. And we thank you for joining us for Matinee Baseball on the show today. Chris Russin. A six-foot, two-inch left-hander jogs in to take over on the hill. That's actually good because they have a lot in more once again, Eduardo Nunez, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Third baseman, Eduardo Nunez. I'm Sends that one out way for strike one. Souvenir, man. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Grounded to short. That was an unnecessary slide. In time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting, center field. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. I'm not getting anyone loose to the fourth. I'm not coming in. And the middle infielders are staying busy here. Another ground ball, this time out to second. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting. Ready for another chance? Mark Trumbo. He reached on a single in his first try. Shot toward right center. That gets right. down, and the inning continues. It sounds so cliche. It's stayed inside the baseball, but that's now a ball batting. in on him, and he just First shot baseman. it the other way for the base Will hit. Myers. Here's Will Myers. So go is. after the first pitch and bounce it into oh, power territory. Oh, I missed that, man. A two-to-one score oh, yeah, here as we play pitches. inning number three. 
Got him to go after that one. He's in a quick hold. Oh, and two. Like he was in the corner. Well, that is a good pitch. A sinker down. down with that kind of movement. It is really hard to hit. No wonder he swung and missed. Drilled right back up Shot the middle. Right and the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Nice. Well, it looks like just a ground ball base hit in the box scores. But, man, that well, ball is hit hard up the middle. He's no going to do well for himself. He stays gone. consistent and keeps that approach. Well, no. Almost lost the umpire. Standing in now, Nomar Mazzara, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. Looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. If I hit it to the right side, to the fence, the game should be tied. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Now a swing and a fly ball, and this should do it. Para is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Pitching and defense game two to one. The final score this afternoon. The Colorado oh, Rockies claim the victory despite being held to only three hits. Vance Worley only completed. Well, that's. Oh, <laughs> we didn't play them. Uh, I guess the more fans. During the steal fans phase, press X to attempt to steal fans from any opponent on the Conquest map. After selecting your opponent, select your game difficulty. You can attempt to win on a higher difficulty to steal more fans, but if you lose, you won't steal any fans. If you want to end this phase, press the options button and skip the... Only steal. I only want a million men. <laughs> That's plenty enough for me. Starting pitcher John Danks versus starting pitcher Obrubjumli. But they have Manny Machado, 94 overall. I'm, I'm kind of dead right here. And Golden Scoop, Mark Trombo. I think I have him too, but like a worse version. I don't know. I think I do. Or that's a different one. I don't know. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Yeah, of course, I'm away again. You know? Waldo Jimenez, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Harold, any thoughts? Well, profit. Matt, he's got five pitches. And I love play. the facts he Eduardo mixes them well. Junior. And we'll just see if he's on today. That means he's throwing. Oh, oh my God. The throw. It's there Everyone to make a, a good diving play. play. The that's a second diving play made on me. Raymel. Standing in, Rhino Tapia. He'll get to take his first cuts here. I'm and he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Foul ball. All right, so 89 degrees to clean oh and one, here it comes. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Mancini Kill. comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. And Nine. with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What do they need to do uh, to get a win on the road here today, Harold? 
Well, this guy they're facing today is all over the place. He walks a lot of guys. So now as a hitter, you got to really focus on the pitch you're looking for and make sure he throws you strikes. If not, he'll have the advantage. Right now, you have it. I'm looking forward to this at bat right here, Matt. Two outs, base is empty, and you got the power guy at the plate. He's going to let it fly. He must. I guarantee you he will. Ball one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Well, the way I see Ed, he gets a lot of respect for his strike zone. There's not a lot of umpires in the league that have the kind of respect he does. He's consistent, he's got a great zone, and he's well respected across the board. Okay. Chop foul oh, over towards the early. coaching box. Hard hit ball to second. Scope has it. Throw on to Davis stupid, takes stupid. care of him, and that'll end the inning. So a very now batting Tim Beckham. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Maybe half of the first. Afternoon, the shortstop, Tim Beckham. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. Oh crap! I hate the way this game pitches. I might even start to into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. A changeup that just catches the Hi. bottom of the zone for a strike. Okay, now let's change up, I guess. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Now oh, the ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Oh, it's a cutter that I've been throwing. The pitch. Boy, good yeah. cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. What's the key to a home victory, Harold? I tell you, I, I thought long and hard about what the key was for them, and I, it comes down to one word, discipline. If they're disciplined at the plate, if they don't run into outs, and if they throw to the right bases, they got a chance to win this game. Adam Jones comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Set to deliver the 0-1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now Having here in the first. Third, right fielder, Mark. Here's Mark Trumbo now. No Trumbo one aboard Trumbo for him, and two gone here in the first. Not really, but like... Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. We both have him back. that finds He's the outside back corner. Me, he might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning Where is the over. Pitcher? Like, he was We've so late. I, was, an I pushed no over here like, on the pass, show. like, the flip to first. Nowhere to be found. Now at the plate, Will Myers. He'll be the one to lead it off against Ubaldo Jimenez. Will Myers. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. I thought he walked a lot of guys. He hasn't literally thrown, like, two balls. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Okay. Swinging a little blooper to center. Coming in is Jones. It's in there, though, a base hit. Yeah. So the leadoff man is a to start is out the bat inning. Four, three, well, he's known mm -hmm. for hitting the ball out of the ballpark, but that just shows how strong he is. He gets jammed, he's able to fight was, it off and oh, flip it five. over the infield. That's a strong dude. Looks like it goes farther than it actually does. It bounces twice before. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. Right fielder, my right, right fielder. What Saints, by the way? I said it's a line drive more than a fly ball. But okay. Now the first pitch from Jimenez. No, don't. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. <laughs> Throw will hold him at that. second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. Back-to-back -back hits, and now That's the up. inning is set up. They're trying Marcus. to put the first run on the board, so you can bunt, move them up. Now you're second and third. You may have draw the infield in, or if they sit back, get the easy ground ball, and you pick up the first run of the game. But it's all set up with those back-to-back -back singles, and now you can do whatever you want to do with the rest of the inning.
the 0 1 pitch fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one none out runners at first and second. One ball in the dirt. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. That's in there. Base hit. And now confusion here with two men on the same base. One's got to go, well, and they're going to get an out here. Time for a look at an adjusted seven. defensive alignment. What just happened? And a second base, Jonathan Scope. Nobody has a better arm on the pivot than Jonathan Scope. I'll measure anybody with it. He's got a rocket. So I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up. Trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Oh, Jimenez deals the one two. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. Guys, just so tell me a how you job there of exploiting that. Um, that can be real I hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Stepping in now, Cameron Ruff as he loops under the ball and pops it up. That was a very hittable pitch to the last time. Uh, He's set. Here's the 0-1. In the dirt and block behind the plate. The runners will stay put. However, I mean, the count even at one. Me, I don't know how to freaking send anybody. Now the one-one home from Jimenez. A swing and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. Into the flag court and we are homer. Let's go. So it's a three-run shot to straight away right field plan. as it's now a three-nothing ball game. Three hundred eighty-two feet. I'm gonna start guessing home runs after this, okay? See, I just don't understand that. He had an open base and could have pitched around him, but they challenged him and lost big time. That is one costly decision. Do it. I will. Um. Wait, I need to take my bullpen. Hold on. Batting ninth, the pitcher number 50, John Danks. So I have him. Denard Spam. We'll get the call now here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Denard Spam. So we're going to try to get this guy as many pitches as possible, but our pitcher will off in the bullpen. And yeah. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. We'll reach out with one hand and make the catch that. on the move. And so that I can't ends throw. the inning. I can't but the big blow of the, the inning the comes right here. Off. A three run home run. Thanks. On to the bottom of inning number two. The Tropics are out in front, three to nothing. Okay, so now we go him. Tyler Lyons, the 6'4 four southpaw, comes in Tyler out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Lyons. He's pretty good, so uh, we'll give him one more. We'll pick one of each and then let him go. Because he's pretty much ready. Uh, slider now. Last one was a 14th fastball.
His pitches don't have that much movement. But he's not bad. He's really pretty good. Tyler Leon's. Last one. Change up blow. Um, trying to end warm up won't let me. There we go. Okay. Manny Machado was brought up. Oh, the diamond card. That's not good. Manny. Barely. I would have wanted that. I'm kind of got a strike, honestly, because that's what it the seems to be. And a one -oh pitch. A fastball down I'm pretty near sure any umpire in the like, real life guys is guys in a lineup that you want to be really careful with. This guy right here is one of those, and yeah. you can tell he's pitching awfully cautiously. Well, this is not how he wanted to come into this game out of the bullpen. The leadoff man of the inning, he finds himself down 3 0 and count. He's got to take a deep breath, refocus, and get uh, back in this game. Oh, that was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Can't keep that one fair either, and now the count is full. I'll throw a slider right there. reached for and popped into the air back behind second. Balbuena backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Okay, here's the defense for the away team brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Nomar Mazzara. I'm talking about bursting on the scene as a youngster. He did just that. And he showed us all his tools, the power from the left side, but also his ability to range in the outfield and make the throw to the right base. Chris Davis that comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. Right, I think the slider was a strikeout pitch. Into his windup. Here comes the one oh. And a whiff at a good slider that time. Yeah. When he is on, that slider is one of the best pitches in all baseball. That's why he's so oh. tough to those lefties. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Slider and sinker. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. But that's a Leaves a slider right over the middle. One out, nobody on. And sinker, right there. Good fight to that and sinker as he out gets him to sinker. swing through it for route number two. <sighs> Ooh, making this happen you know? now at the plate. Jonathan Scope will try Thanks to make much. something happen with two Jonathan. gone in the bottom of the second. Oh. It swung on and hit in the air, waiting but out of this Tapia, and that nice. retires the side. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Hits. We'll go now to the top of the third. Pennsylvania is on top here, three to nothing. Nunez is up first. It is a beautiful day here in Baltimore, Maryland, as we're set to begin My the aunt third used to live frame there, so of this I love, one for I love going there Park. and visiting her. It was, it was fun. There's like these boats that are out on like the bay. Over oh, one for him here in this one. And here's a ball she hit in the air. To in there, a base hit. Um. Well, he got jammed on that one right there, and he's just strong enough to muscle it in the right field for the base hit. So be a line drive tomorrow in the paper. That's honestly better than a walk or like a taken pitch, because I know if I took that pitch. I would have regretted it. I'm going to see if and now, my picture Rimal in. Tapia. Yes, he'll take a look at ball the one. Of the Fly out in his first at bat. So but if there's like, say, two runners so on, then I'm going to take them you guys. Oh, yeah. That, that's us. I was like, wait, so there is somebody on. Because I could have scored, but now I'm like, oh, yeah. Swing and a liner. Foul. Ah! Why is that fan always Not hitting right in the head. And yeah, there's one care. well above the zone for a ball. I if he thinks that fastball gonna... really mm. got away from him. There. I don't That's blame kind of you. a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. On deck, Mark Trumbo. On deck, the right handed hitting Mark Trumbo. So, so yeah, one was in the first trip. He 
set. Here's the 3 1. Fun attempt misses. The throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out. He's having a hard time doing that. So, as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And that's I worked that count of 3 and 0. Oh. Digging three in to one. try it again. Trumbull. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The one's not going to be pending. Nice. He's set and the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander. At least they're up three nothing. There. <laughs> Top three. Just get out of this. You know, alive. Rips this one to first. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. First baseman number four. Will stepping in and ready for another one shot. Throw, one Will Myers. Myers. He singled He's his last time up. It's two outs. Ready with so. the first pitch. Here it comes. This is lined to left. Mancini is there and he'll make the catch to retire. I the hit side. it like right So June. after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a three, zero okay. here. We should be able to hold them. Wellington. Very weakly on the ground. Let's go. See, so we have 13 pitches. In there. Into the windup. Here really comes the 0 and 1. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled the ball 1 and 1. And so let's do a slider right from inside. the windup. The 1 1 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That misses and we're even at two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing Maybe and a liner. I should take him out because he's like a lefty. Let me just get my bullpen working now. Mm. What was it? Hector Rondon, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. This guy has some movement, okay. So he's still, like, really cool. So I'm going to do, I'm going to give him all of his pitches, so. He doesn't want to leave the stream for a second while I give him all of his pitches. Just, you know, get him a little bit more up, maybe. Oh, he doesn't have third, fourth. His forcing fastball is pretty nasty movement, actually. Three pitches left. We're gonna go with the slider outside corner. Once again, slider outside the corner before I go to one last four seam fastball. Hector Rendon, by the way. Oh, he's one pitch left. Oh, no, no out. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. That's a little outside. Oh, he went nasty. Let's didn't even go. Come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One it was out. supposed to be a little outside, but you know it counts, right? Swinging the bat, trying to protect Left before fielder. the ball even left the pitcher's hand. That pitch wasn't even close. He would have needed a flagpole to hit that one. Go, counts as a strike. This strikes as strike. Into the box now, Trey Mancini. And this ball's pretty well struck. High That's and deep to left field. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Oh, he was geared up for that pitch. He got what he wanted. He just got out in front of it. Oh, one pitch on its way. Just a bit uh, high that time as he misses for a ball.
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Mazzara going back at the track. He gets there and that's the second out. Seth Your Smith will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Jimenez, number Oh, and this is oh, hit hard no. up the middle. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So he picks on the first pitch here well, and is able to extend the inning. Well, that's the slider time, breaking buddy. in right there. So and if it's not in one. on your hands, that's Don't a dangerous stop. pitch. He got Jim lucky that ball didn't go further. Into the box, to Tim ready. Beckham. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. You only get like two tries a game, don't you? And a fastball mm, just misses. It's one and one. A runner on first with two away. No contact there, and it's one and two. For the game strikeout. Swing yes. and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the win's a win, not the most triumphant victory of all time, but at least they did earn themselves some more fans, and sometimes that can go a long way. 3-0 the final score in this one today. Ubaldo Jimenez worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Highlight reel. There wasn't many of those. Final line score. First for the victorious visiting team. Three runs, five hits, no errors. They left one man on base. For the home team, no runs, just one hit, no errors. They left one man on base. And also, guys, I will be the doing some of um, is John Dank. Highlights of some of the games I'm doing, and I don't Yemeni. record a stream. Time of the ball game. So there'll be some highlights two hours for and 41 minutes. It was only two highlights. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you. Let's go. I stole some of their fans. Um, how many fans? Let's guess. Uh, oh yeah, I saw a million. Million fans. I've been I've been having fun with the serious boys and girls, but today that's gonna do we're gonna win. Um hope you guys did enjoy this. Um I don't really need to advance. Uh well I will. During the reinforce phase Press X on any of your territories that you want to reinforce with new fans. Keep in mind the number of your reinforcement fans is determined by the number of fans you recently stole and by the number of territories that you currently own. Just like with other phases, you can press the options button and skip the phase. Well, we're just going to skip. Actually, we're not going to do that anymore. I had fun with it, uh, but we're going to do some Battle Royale. And some of these other ones in Diamond Dice. Hope you guys did enjoy today. And see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.